This is just a response video to a bunch of idiots who think that you can prove math doesn't exist. The method that they use is that A equals B, and that's the initial condition. Multiply both sides by B so you get AB equals B squared. Uh, uh, subtract both sides, uh, subtract an A squared from both sides so you get AB minus A squared equals B squared minus A squared. And then you simplify so they get uh, A times uh, B minus A equals B minus A, B plus A. And then you divide both sides by the B minus A term. So you get A equals B plus A. And because A equals B as the initial condition, you simply replace uh, B with A. So you get A equals A plus A or A equals 2A. However, the initial condition A uh, minus A equals B, therefore B minus A equals 0. Uh, so you get a times 0 equals 0 times b plus a, or 0 equals 0. So it doesn't work from that angle. The second problem is that, because we've already proven down here that b minus a equals 0, dividing, it by, dividing this by the b minus a term means that you're dividing by 0, which you can't do. Now, if you're dumb enough to think that this actually is real, then you'd also think that the right hand, that the, uh, as at the limit of 1 over n as n approaches 0 is infinity. However, that is the right-hand limit. The left-hand limit of that is negative infinity. Because those limits are not the same, the uh, overall limit of 1 over n as n approaches 0 does not exist because those two limits are not the same, and therefore 1 over 0 does not, not equal infinity. Learn math.